So you had, uh, in, I think, in, in one of your lectures, you had explained few stories from cricket, mm. life lessons. Mm. Uh, can you just explain that, or any any other story that is like very relevant and very practical in our lives? Uh, cricket, especially Test cricket, offers many amazing lessons. And one of the most amazing things about Test cricket is it lasts five days, and there are uh, three sessions every day, right? Uh, morning to lunch and lunch to tea and tea to uh, the last session. So basically, 15 sessions, and and there are a lot of twists and turns in a test match. So one session could be really bad for a batsman, but he has to just simply tolerate. He just start, he just start can't get out. He just has to wait, and then the runs will come. Or if you're on the bowling side, you know the batsman may really smash you. You may be going through a difficult time, but if you persist, then you're the fortunes would swing in your favor so test match is all about patience and that's exactly what life is all about patience so i have a great regard for test cricket in that sense it helps understand the lesson of patience secondly um, cricket also like raul dravid story i had heard it in one of his own speeches that where he said that he was about to be thrown out of the indian team he had been failing consistently but in that historic match in eden gardens when india won after being forced to follow on He had come to bat, and the Australians were experts in sledging, where you know, where uh, actually getting on his nerves. But he was focused on one ball at a time. He said, "I don't care if I don't make it into the team the next match, but this one ball is what I have, and let me just play this ball." So I thought that's how our chanting is. That's how our devotional service is. This one maha mantra that I'm chanting now is what I have to offer Krishna. If we take one day at a time, one one moment at a time. i think that's 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 what a cricket batsman does so like that there are many ways to look at a cricket but we should be careful uh, as practicing uh, spiritualists that cricket has its limitations you know the most important thing is life because life is much bigger cricket will end one day so we have to see life from a much larger perspective and if cricket helps us to draw life lessons great but cricket per se uh It's basically an entertainment sport. There is everything in this world will teach you something. Exactly. There is nobody who can be so bad that you know he can't teach you anything. Similarly, there is nothing in this world that can't teach you anything. And cricket, for Indians, you know, cricket is in their blood, you know. And there are so many stories about so many cricketers. So yeah, we could learn a lot of life lessons from cricket as well. 